Hello everyone. Now I'm going to show you an example of meshing a relatively complicated structure using tetrahedral elements and uh, hex elements. Now let's get started. So I'm going to create a random uh, structure and then mesh it. So I'm going to limit uh, part one and using and use model space 3D and deformable and I'm going to use the uh, solid and uh, revolution. So I'm going to create a sketch first. So for this sketch, I'm going to create a sketch like this. Let's close. And we can also put uh, dimensions if uh, necessary. Let's put uh, 18. And now let's put uh, this one as uh, 18 as well. Okay. Now let's uh, hit the uh, middle mouse button and click down. Let's put a uh, 360 degree. Click OK. Now we have this uh, geometry. And you can see for this uh, geometry, it's composed of a uh, small cylinder and a large cylinder and this uh, first time so let's uh, mesh it see what happens so let's put some uh, global seats let's use five apply maybe three apply and click ok now let's mesh it so you can see we got an error so it says the selected region cannot be meshed automatically using the assigned element ships. So they must either be partitioned, assigned a tight ship, or manually meshed using the create bottom up mesh tool. So let's click uh, mesh control. You can see the default settings set uh, hex as an uh, element ship and for this uh, complicated uh, structure the software can't use uh, hex to mesh it and uh, in the lecture we, we already discussed that we can use uh, we can always use uh, tight elements because tight elements can be used to mesh any arbitrary ships so let's uh, try with tight first and see what happens Click OK and now we mesh it again. You can see the entire part has been meshed using tetrahedral elements. However, for some situations, we really wanted to use uh, hex elements because it's uh, faster and more accurate. So if uh, that is the case, we need to partition this part first and divide this part into some simple structures so that the software can use uh, uh, their uh, provided uh, techniques to mesh it. Now let's uh, try with uh, let's try to mesh this part using hex elements. I'm going to delete the mesh first. Click uh, yes. Let's uh, switch it back. And in order to mesh this part we need to partition. We need to divide this part into simple structures. So let's uh, first uh, divide this part along x, y, and uh, y, z plane. So in order to divide this part along x, y, and y, z plane, so we need to. Uh, create uh, two data planes. Let's create uh, two data planes first. So along x, y, we are going to create a data plane. Around y, z, we are going to create a data plane. And now I'm going to use a partition. So let's switch to partition using partition cell, use the data plane. And now I'm going to select this uh, data plane and hit middle mouse button. 
Now let's try it again. Select the data and plane and create a partition. And now I'm going to select uh, the entire part and click down. And now I'm going to select this data and plane, create a partition. Now you can see, uh, let's uh, visualize this. Now you can see this part has been divided into four parts. And next, we need to divide uh, this uh, cylinder. Because currently it's a uh, entire part. We can't use a uh, uh, structure or sweep to mesh this part. In order to make sure it can be meshed using sweep or structure. So we need to further divide this uh, part. Now let's bring everything back. Bring everything back, okay. Now I'm going to partition this part using extend face. So let's uh, select the entire part, click down, and select this face, create a partition. Now you can see let me uh, uh, let me highlight let me hide this uh, part. So you can see now we have uh, let me highlight one more. So now you can see that uh, this part is a uh, an entire structure, and here we have a hollow cylinder, right? So if we are going to mesh this part directly. So we can't use either structure or sweep to mesh this part. So we need to further divide this to a to a frost term and frost term and a cylinder. So now let's uh, create uh, another partition. So we select uh, the entire part, click down. This time we are going to use uh, three points. So we select this point. And at this point, we have uh, one more point. Let's uh, select this point, this point. Okay, create partition. Now you can see if uh, we highlight this part. So you can see here, now we have uh, simple structures. So the first simple structure, let me highlight them one by one so that you can see how many simple structures we have here. So let's bring everything back. So click this one, let's uh, select this uh, structures and click uh, down. You can see now we have uh, two cylinders, right? And these two cylinders can be meshed uh, with using structure technique. And let's uh, bring everything back. And uh, highlight uh, these structures. Let me try it again, and here. And this uh, simple structure can be meshed uh, using structure. Now let's uh, mesh the entire part. This time we are going to use, uh, select all of them, and we are going to use uh, hex. And we can use uh, sweep. Let's try and see. Now you can see the color turns uh, yellow. So it means uh, for the entire part, we can use the uh, sweep. So if you put it to structure, you can see we can't use structure to mesh this uh, the, the bottom part. And now let's uh, switch it back to sweep and click OK. And now let's mesh it again. Now you can see 
the entire part has been matched with the hex elements. So if you want to minimize the distortion, so you can just use this option and click uh, OK, delete the old mesh and mesh it again. Now you can see we have a very nice uh, hex elements.